everybody and welcome back to the Outdoor Tinkerer. My name is Shane and today I'm going to be making an extension table for my table saw. It's calling us. As you may have seen on some of my other videos, I've cut some pretty long pieces uh, with this table saw and it's been kind of sketchy. Um, it's getting, been a little bit hard on my hands just holding it uh, where it needs to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an extension table. So I'll have an extra like roughly two feet uh, of a table uh, to lay the, the work piece on. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. So stay tuned and maybe you can make one yourself too. So I'll have two rails on each side and then I'll put this, uh, it's a half inch plywood. Uh, on top of it and so these things will it'll actually slide onto these two uh, rails here or whatever you want to call them so I'll slide onto here and then the table will come out here and then I'll have legs that go down to the ground and I think in the future what I'm going to end up doing is I'll put a hinge on those legs and so I can move them in and out and put it up against the wall like I've got everything else in here because if it's just a 90 degree, it's going to be like two foot hanging out of the wall. So it takes up a lot of space and I'm not trying to do that. So that's what I'm going to be doing. We can burn like a flame through the atmosphere. So the depth of this cut right here is going to be an inch and a quarter. That's how wide or deep these rails are. So I'm going to cut this part off and I'm doing about four and a half inches back into the wood um, and that will give me enough space that I can put like two screws at least um, in the plywood right here. Um, and I'm not going to put a cross brace at all in between here because the plywood will be fine for that. Well, here she is. Black and Decker. This thing is probably from 60s, I'm guessing. It's loud. And it's got a lot of power, and it's quite scary. For another day of uh, working on this table saw extension out this way um, I went and I got some hinges so I'll be able to put some hinges on the legs and so that'll make it easier to go up and down um, it's for storage uh, so that should be simple so that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna get uh, the last couple things finished and I should be done pretty quick with it so there you go I just got some of these these pretty simple light they're called T hinges. Do they look like a T? Obviously. So that's what I'm gonna be using for the hinges. Super simple, a couple bucks at Tractor Supply Company, so or any hardware store. They have that kind of stuff. So Starlight, it's calling us. Leave the ghosts of our past in the strand. table part of this whole setup. So it should be easy, I just gotta trace it out. And I think what I'm actually gonna do is I'm just gonna trace it a little big. I cut it a little big so there's a little bit of overhang so I get just, just a little bit more. Because uh, it doesn't need to be entirely uh, supported, so. One 
thing that is going to matter in this part um, is that I make sure that I line up the edges here because this is what's going to be butting up against the table. This front edge. Here. So, just kind of get it centered on here roughly. And... Looks good to me. So I'm actually going to go underneath and put one screw in so that I can flip it over and countersink the holes so that I don't hit the, the screw heads when I'm doing the rest of it. And then I'll pull that last one, that first one out and uh, countersink that one as well. I'm gonna draw a line in between here so that I have a better guess of where this board is. Just like that. And then I have something to, to go off of. Now I still have this one side left to do still. But I didn't do that one just yet because if it's a little bit uh, tight, then I still have a little bit of room to adjust it. So it's, it's better. So I want to be able to make this easy to get on and easy to get off. It also sits nicely on top of the table saw so I can use it as an elevated workstation if I need to. Save a little bit of uh, wear on the actual table of the table saw. Step is to cut some legs and get those mounted up. T hinges go on here pretty simply. Put the screws in and it works. A lot of the times it's kind of confusing which way it should go. It really kind of depends on how you feel about it, but I don't want these legs to go too far past 90 degrees. So I'm going to put the hinge like this so it stops right there. And I'm lazy, so I'm just going to use the drill to put these screws in. Now, some of you may want these things to swing out really easily. I don't. Um, so what you're going to have to watch out for is when you put in this middle one, if you put it in too tight, it's going to start to bend this rod that goes in between these hinges um, and that causes some extra tension on these hinges so like they can stay up or stay in a specific position and I just don't want them flopping around because I want to be able to control where the legs are going so they don't smash me in the shins when I take this off the wall or whatever I'm wherever I'm getting it from this is what it's gonna look like um, pretty much when it's finished uh, what's nice about this too is how I've made it is that it sets on the, the sliding fence system here so if I want to cut from something from the other side say I needed to cut a different angle and because the, the blade only tilts to the left then I could just move this extension over to the other side um, in the future I may do another uh, extension as an outfeed table um, so I can do longer pieces or make cutting sheets of plywood a lot easier, ripping it a lot easier. Um, so I might do that in the future, but not today. Um, so what I've got here, I've got it all um, kind of blocked up, I guess you could say, stacked up so it's resting on that stuff instead of just on these little insert parts here. Um, and what you're going to want to do for making sure you have the right leg length, you can measure it, but I find this is the easiest way to get it right. Put a level on the table saw. It's level. Put a level on this guy. It's level. Um, so basically what I want is just one large level surface. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to measure from where my hinges are 
straight up to the ground. So the last step of this is to just screw in the legs. It's pretty simple. So you just wanna set them under here. Probably wanna center the hinge in these things, so. I'm gonna do the other one and then we'll actually add a cross member in here so that they fold down together and they're not super wobbly and stuff like that. So I'll show it to you when I'm done. Well, there you have it, folks. The table saw extension. Super simple. I'll give you a quick view of underneath too. So you can see how it goes in. So I got the cross member there, hinges there, and this is how it slides in. Here's the outside. There you go. So that's gonna be it for this project. Uh, it's been pretty simple to do, so you can do it too. This is gonna be really helpful for the crib project and some other stuff that I'll be doing in the future as well. Be able to utilize my table saw a lot better. So that'll be great. Um, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button just below the video there. If you want to see more of these videos of me working in the shop doing some fun stuff, hit the subscribe button and uh, if you think that there's something I should have done differently or you just want to say hi, hit that comment box below. This is all for today. Have a good one. It's calling us. last thing. This is how it folds up. Oh yeah. Awesome.